Pets on Parade, Carrie Hughes, is joining us again later in the show to talk more about our Compassion with Fashion event. But first, Tuesday was a very exciting day for the Valley's homeless pets as the Alliance for Companion Animals announced the Fix Adopt three-year campaign results. In the last three years, the Alliance has collaborated to increase the number of lives saved to an additional 26,000 homeless animals. Thank you so much to Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton for joining us, and as always to our funders from the Nina Mason Pulliam Charitable Trust and PetSmart Charities. For more information on Fix Adopt Save, please visit fixadoptsave.org. And these three rambunctious kittens, Boston Cream, Creamsicle, and Cream Puff, are always excited for some playtime. And Lisa, their favorite toy of all is any kind of ball with a jingle bell in it. Yes, these jingle balls that we have up here on the table, they have pushed and played and pushed off the table at least 200 times waiting for their big TV debut. But we have something up here that would satisfy any sweet tooth. These guys are rambunctious, 10-week-old kittens. They're uh, like dilute orange, and we've got an orange tabby and a little calico tabby mix here. They are fluffy, soft, clean, and just absolute purring machines. They are spunky, as you can see, and they have little, oh, look at that one there. She's finally going to calm down. But these guys will, like I said, satisfy anybody's sweet tooth, and at just 10 weeks old, they've got the world to learn yet. They're behaving for their TV debut now, Lisa. <laughs> and Petey here is our next four-legged star on today's show who loves to go for walks, runs, hikes, basically any outdoor activity where he gets to explore his surroundings. Perry, this doggy has plenty of fun energy to keep his family active for many years to come. Tell us all about him. Well, he is 10 months old, so you're right. He has got a lot of energy to burn. And he's a, he's a puppy, he's a full-grown puppy, so he's going to be a real handful for somebody, but really, really well worth it. You know, this guy was surrendered to us because the landlord said, you can't have this dog in our apartment building. And I'm guessing it was mostly because of his breed. You know, if you look at a lot of the restrictions that your apartments have, and I, and I actually ask everybody before you come down and adopt, make sure the breeds that are allowed in your apartment building, you're going to sometimes see some pretty odd dogs in that list, like German Shepherds and Australian Shepherds and Great Danes and Cattle Dogs. And you're going to say, hey, I know friends that have those dogs. I've had dogs like that. Why would they not be allowed in the apartment building? Same thing with this guy right here. It's not the breed. It's Petey. And he is just a great guy. Look at the great patch. What else would he be named other than Petey with that big patch on his eye? He is a very silly guy. He's very, like I said, he's all puffy. Um, and he's going to be a, a real blast. Uh, the other thing he might need, as you can see, is going to be a little training. And what 10-month-old doesn't need that? If you do need training, please contact us. Go to our website, azumaine.org slash dog training. All of our trainers are certified professional dog trainers. They're all certified. They're done in, it's done in a clean and very, very comfortable environment. We have group lessons. We have private lessons. We have free puppy parties, as I mentioned before. So check it out. It's a great way to get your dog uh, trained. It'll teach you how to bond with your dog. It'll burn off all that ex ex excess energy. And you won't have a crazy 10-month-old like Petey here. But like I said, he's worth it. There's no better doggy than a big brown patch dog like Petey right here. Come on down and check him out. He is going to be such a great family dog, Perry. A group of volunteers from the Arizona Humane Society took our adoptable dogs out for tails and trails and hiked the beautiful South Mountain. Our dogs enjoyed the great weather, good company, and were able to stretch their legs. If you enjoy the great outdoors, visit azhumane.org to find out more information about our upcoming tails and trails hiking event. And next we have Lemon Drop, who is another pet that arrived at the Arizona Humane Society through our Project Reach Out program. She's very friendly and affectionate with a loud purr machine to let you know just how happy she is to be spending time with you. Well, you can see Lemon Drop has melted just right into my hands there. Uh, she is another one from uh, Graham County Animal uh, Control. So another one of those thousand animals that we here in the Maricopa County have given a chance to. She's a beautiful Dilute Calico and, um, or I'm sorry, a Dilute Tortie. And she is um, very friendly when we go up there the volunteers up there begged us to bring her down that she had been waiting a while for a home up at Graham County and um, I'm sure Lemon Drop will find one of you feline fanciers out there to fall in love with as you can see she is very affectionate she's got a very very loud purr so there's no questioning when she's happy but this girl will be content once she finds her one and only partner when you come down to meet Lemon Drop
so sweet. And now we welcome back Carrie Hughes. Thanks for joining us again. We wanted to talk a little bit more about the Compassion with Fashion event on April 3rd at the Phoenician since you brought all those fun items to show us today. If you could tell us a little more about the event itself and what our viewers can look forward to. Certainly. Well, Compassion with Fashion has been voted the best charity event of the Valley for numerous years. So it's definitely a day that our viewers don't want to miss. Absolutely. Three TV's own Brandon Lee and Heather Moore are emceeing the event. So and they are both such passionate animal lovers. Brandon loves pitties. And Heather has actually adopted two kitties from AHS. So they make the day just fun and exciting. And it really is a day to celebrate the joy of pets. And 1,200 of our community members get together. They all have the same passion, and that's animals, and supporting the work that we do at the Arizona Humane Society. This day is so crucial to supporting the programs that we offer in the community and to saving the lives of those homeless pets, especially through our Second Chance Animal Hospital and our Emergency Animal Medical Technician Program. So the best part of the day, I would have to say for myself, is our Parade of Paws. And we have adoptable pets. We'll have 16 dogs and four cats that prance down the runway um, with children and our very own AHS heroes. And seeing the joy and the fun of those pets on the runway is just such a great experience. So please, I, you know, if you've not been or if you've been before, please join us. It will be day. Thanks so much, Carrie. And for more information about all the pets on today's show, visit azhumane.org slash pets on parade or call the number right there on your screen. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us today.